Yo, 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 what the fuck is up, man? It's John in the motherfucking house in Dope Talk TV Studios. I'm with my dog, JP. He actually pulled up on me, man. What the fuck is up? Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> what up? Thank you for having me. What's up, bro? What's going on? What up? Nothing much. Chilling, chilling. Chill, chilling. You're working today? Yeah. This guy actually drove like almost an hour to come out here. So, yo, shout out again. <laughs> That soundboard's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's pretty cool, bro. Like, this shit was kind of expensive, too, bro. It was like 600 bucks. Can you believe that shit? Damn. A little tiny-ass box, bro. But you could do a whole bunch of shit. You put music. I can even have phone calls. Yeah. Is it Bluetooth? Yeah, like, you can call in and shit, you know? So, like, it feels like we're on a radio show. So, you can call your boy off my Bluetooth. You can connect to it and call him and be like, yo, what's up? And it sounds clear. And they could hear all the applause. Okay. They could, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so that's how they be doing that. Yeah. I always you wonder when too? I see the reels and I'm just like, yo, how, how the fuck are they doing this? How are they doing this? Do they got somebody in, they got a whole crowd in the back, bro, like <laughs> applauding and shit? What the hell, man? But yeah, bro. Hey, man, so if you guys don't know who this is, this is JP, okay? He's a motherfucking pro fighter at Combat Night. Um, man, I've seen these guys fight, bro. I wouldn't mess with any of these guys, okay? I'm just letting you know right now. These guys are fucking killers, man. All right. So, hey, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me how it started. Tell me everything. All right. So really, I like to say that I started fighting because it was fun. And then I would watch a lot of anime. Yeah. And anime has a whole lot of fighting, like training arcs. You have an obstacle. You, you try to overcome whatever is in your way, no matter what. Yeah. So I think I just fell in love with the, the mindset of it. And I just happen to like fighting too. I always like roughhousing. Okay. I would always like to see which one of my friends would like to wrestle. Yeah. Or at least it's like if I didn't, if it just started happening, I'd be having a lot of fun. It's okay. like, all right, it's fun to throw people around and all that shit. So I think it's just a mixture of that. And okay. then, you know, you grow up and you start slap boxing. Yeah. You get in real fights. Yeah. And some people like it more than others. And I think it was just a slow progression with me liking martial arts, anime, and actually liking the fight, that it was bound to happen. Yeah. And to be honest, bro, like, I'll get into a fight. I've been into fights, right? But, like, man, like, <clears throat> I don't like the feeling, bro. I don't like the motherfucking feeling, bro. <laughs> you know? Like, the next day, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're not trained for it, bro. Your body's all fucking sore and shit. Your body's all fucked up. Yeah. If people that know, like, people that have been in a real fight, bro, the next day, your body's like sore, bro. Like your whole entire body from just using every fucking muscle in your body, bro. It's like swimming. Yeah. I swear, you know? Um, and when you look at somebody, do you feel like you ever see those guys that are like super strong looking, right? They look like they do something, right? They do roids or some shit. I don't mm -hmm. know. Do you feel like that shit don't matter? Like the looks don't matter. You've, you've went across, you fought somebody that didn't look strong, but they were. Oh yeah, for sure. And to go want back to what you said earlier. Yeah. That sore feeling after a fight. Yeah. I love that shit. Especially, I love it off of a win. Yeah. When, you, when you're when you sore and then it's like you wake up the next morning, but you just remembered that you went in there, you handled your business, knocked somebody out, submitted them. And it's just that feeling of all that hard work. You, you feel like shit, but you got the dub. You got the dub, so, bro. I feel like that's probably like goes back to old days where hunters would go out. And they'd be tracking whatever it is, mm -hmm. going through all types of shit, and they kill it. They take it back, and then they're cooking it, and they're sitting by the fire with everybody. And and they look at the process. Yeah, exactly. It's the process of you starting and then finishing. Yeah. Because most people start, and they never finish. And I think that's what kind of sometimes sets people with athletes' mindsets and anything similar to that, wanting to be the best, really appreciating a grind. That's why there is... Like there's people that aren't athletes and don't have that I want to be the best attitude and there's people that don't. I think both are okay. Yeah. You need to have both. And sometimes athletes and people with that mindset can be annoying as hell. Mm -hmm. Put them all in the room. But to go back to what you were saying um, about people that look strong. Yeah. I'd be like, bro, that's show muscle. It's, it's like, all muscle, bro. Just because you have muscle don't make <laughs> you strong, right? It's like, bro, you just big. It's like you it's like you got uh like you the got the you got looks. the physique. Yeah, you got the look for it. You know those people that go to the shows and they show off all their muscles and shit. One of my best friends, bro, he was uh, Mr. Florida. Okay, so he was Mr. Florida, 2013. Shout out to him. 
That's my best friend, man. He'll help me get my real estate license and yeah, shit. That's yeah. what's up. You know, we all need those friends and shit. But anyways, yeah, so he got he had that. He did the shows, but I know that motherfucker wasn't strong. I'll wrestle his ass right now, bro. You know? He'd probably be like, fuck you, man. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, you talking shit about your boy on camera. I yeah, was like, you gotta boy. be ready. No, nah, that's my boy. Yeah, on sight. <laughs> on sight. No, nah, that's my boy, man. Love that dude, bro. But yeah, man, like, so what type of anime shows did you watch? Uh all right, so like classics. Okay. You got Yu Yu Haka Show. Okay. And then you got Roni Kenshin, um, Dragon Ball Z, of course, and Dragon Ball. Yeah. Those are the ones that originally, like, those are the early ones that were coming on, like, uh, what do you call it? Toonami. And then Zoids and stuff like that. But then, like, my favorites right now, I'd say One Piece, Vinland Saga, um, Gintama, and... Naruto? Naruto, not right now, just because it ended. They got bored. Oh, okay, now. okay. I feel like, like there's a lot of people joining that bandwagon that aren't really like... Oh, yeah. It, it definitely jumped. Yeah. It's like now everything is anime. You, like, you, you go to Marshalls, you see anime shirts. Yeah. All these brands are trying to do anime shirts. Dragon Ball Z is considered anime, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's I like one of the Dragon OGs. Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball Z is pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fuck with that. I like Avatar, The Last Airbender, but that, that's pretty... That's as far as I go. I feel like... That's like anime's cousin. Like anime, it's okay. not anime, okay. but it's like so close yeah. and we all accept it yeah. because the, Av- the Last Airbender was dope. Yeah, yeah. Just like, the, I love that show. The original movie, I just, I didn't feel like it wasn't all that dope. Oh, the live action one? Yeah. That shit was trash. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't all that great. You know what I mean? Just like the Dragon Ball Z one, I did see that one too. It was the, in the movies. The live action? The live action. Yeah, it wasn't all that great. I, I can't watch them. I, I don't know. It's just something about them trying to transition it to real people. It just doesn't look right. It, it really don't. And I remember I saw uh, The Last Airbender yeah. in the theaters. And it was at a matinee. So at, at that time, I think uh, like it was $7 or something like that yeah. for a matinee. I was so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I didn't pay full price. Yeah. And saw it early. It's just like that movie was that bad. It that sucks. Piss. That's the worst feeling in the world, bro. I went to the movies like last week, bro, or two, maybe like two weeks ago. I saw uh, Scream. Scream. There you mm-hmm. go. Scream. I have bad memories. And all that great, man. I wasted like two hours of my time. It's the worst feeling when you go into the movies and you waste two hours. You come back. You're like, man, this wasn't even like, it wasn't even worth it, bro. Like, <sighs> bro. <laughs> It's like you bringing up all them feelings for me right now because I'm cheap as hell. Yeah, I'm a cheap guy too, bro. <laughs> it's like I don't like spending the money. Me neither. So when I spend it, I'm like, all right, I'm like, I'm ready to be entertained for two hours. I know that I, it's a possibility that I won't be. Yeah, but it's just, I'm hoping this works out. Yeah, there's a chance. Then you come out and you're just like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and bro, we've never met, which is which is yeah. you know. It's unbelievable, bro. That's that's why I love, love about this podcast, bro. Is that everyone that comes in here, most of them I don't even know. I've never even met. Okay. So like, and like, I'm I'm gonna say ninety nine percent of the people that came here, we've connected on spot. So I feel like everything happens for a reason, bro. So shout out to everybody that came <laughs> through, bro. Yeah. But yeah, man. Like we were talking for a little bit, and we were connected, man. And um, you know, we have a lot in common. Like you know, Mac Miller, Young Dolph. You know what? What's your thoughts of like? whole gunner situation like what, what's, your, what's your thought on that you know i'm not trying to put you on the spot but i kind of <laughs> did like do you i feel like i feel like he snitched i feel like he he snitched i definitely think he snitched probably yeah but it's <laughs> like i be thinking about it i'm yeah. just like you seen the wire yeah yeah i heard about that yeah it's like a show yeah. the wire yeah yeah and it just like it's it shows a little bit of like the prison life and like what happens when someone's about to do time yeah. to hold other people down. Yeah. And they're like, man, fuck this. It's like, this shit sucks. It's like, I'm not about to do this I'm shit. not about to do 25 <laughs> years for this guy. I barely know this guy, bro. <laughs> or like, like, I just claimed this shit so I could yeah. put on it. It's like, I'm, I wasn't really out here doing that. Everyone yeah. knows that. And yeah. they expect if, him to. If he was associated with, you know, the murders and all that shit, then, you know, and he was planned into that, then yeah, if he was just on the label, that's you what I'm saying. People don't realize that, like, you don't know the whole situation. What if he was just part of the label and the whole label got taken out? And that's what kind of happened, I think. You know? Yeah. The whole YSL label kind of just like, you know, they <laughs> indicted like a whole bunch of people. And it's like, well, we're going to grab all of you. Yeah. It's like bro. somebody going to tell them, like, someone knows something and someone will say what they need to to save themselves. And that's where 
but the funny thing is, is like all them videos that they've been posting on like Instagram, yeah, where they're clipping all the times that Gunna said he was never going to snitch. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, bro. That was like, oh my gosh, man. And it kind of, I don't know. When when I saw all these guys getting locked up, I was like, it's like, bro, <laughs> somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna tell. I mean, and I feel it's funny because it's like everyone got an opinion on the internet. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's acting like they bought the street life. They've been in it. And it's, it's like, like no, bro, you have not. You no, would not know. Bro, if you're about to get 25 years, bro, a lot of you guys will switch. I'm telling you right now. A lot a lot of people will. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, if you're taking it for yourself and you have some, you know, some dignity, you got some integrity, you know, you got some pride, you know, then it's different. But um, I don't know, man. But moving on, bro. You know, Young Dolph. We also like Young Dolph. Mm-hmm. Young Dolph is probably one of my biggest motivators, bro. When I'm feeling down and I'm feeling like, man, like, I don't know. Everyone has those days, right? I listen to Young Dolph, bro. I listen to Young Dolph, bro. You know, Mac Miller. Mm -hmm. That was sad, man. Yeah, I was at work when that happened. And my homie Tyler, he was just he was like, yo, what the fuck? I was like, what happened? He's like, Mac Miller died. Yeah, just like I, that, my brother called me. He's like, bro, no, I'm upset and shit, my little brother. That shit was crazy. Cause, and then you hear it, it's like fentanyl. Yeah. What got him. And it's just, and I remember in his song, um, Brand Name, he was like, he's hoping not to join the 27 Club. Yeah, the 27. It's like, and all the, uh, that sell me drugs, don't mix it with that bullshit. I'm trying not to yeah. join the 27 Seven Club. Club. And then that's, that's what fucking happened. That shit was crazy. I was just like, damn, man. Especially that <clears> album. <throat> Good AM was an album that I listened to like crazy yeah. when it came out. And I still listen to it a lot. Shit, I've seen that, you know, you had it on when you were walking out into the ring. You yeah. Had, you had a song on, yeah, from and, my Mac. Yeah, and that song, it's it's one of my favorite songs out there just because I remember at the time I was uh, living in Milwaukee. Yeah. And I was training all day pretty much. And then at like 3.30, I'd be working all night until sometimes like 4 a.m. Jeez. I've gotten off at like 6 a.m. before and I would listen to that album. And it's just like for me, it was a song where I was just like listening and envisioning myself yeah. being able to like listen to that song again in the future and like living out some of the lyrics, mm -hmm. just bringing myself up and all that. So that was a song that made, would make me feel calm, but like focused. Yeah. So I decided I was like, you know, I don't need to walk out to hype shit. I was like, I think I'm more dangerous and I feel more at ease when I'm calm walking into there because yeah. then it's like, I feel like, man, those motherfuckers that act all hard and shit, like, oh, crazy and shit, man. You know, like most of them and the, the big mouths, they, they end up getting their ass whooped most of the time. Yeah, it happens. You they know, typically get exposed a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Not that they can't end up doing yeah. great things. Yeah, of course. But then it's like they get exposed and then the... Like the formula set out there, it's like, oh, this is how you beat this person because yeah, they're gonna eventually just like sh short circuit them, their brain because they're doing so much shit, they're talking so much, but then yeah, it's like you just don't say nothing and fuck them up. Yeah, just like it. just like the last fight with uh, what was it? Was it Tank and and who who else? What was his name? Oh, Garcia. Garcia. Yeah, man, Garcia, bro. I guess he studied. He didn't really study his moves, obviously, because. <laughs> You could tell there was a clip of him using that that hook, mm -hmm. and he, they study. You know, they, oh, like a uh, tank. Yeah, yeah, tank. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he kept his lead hand out, and it, then as soon as he felt the hook, he rolled he under, ducked and that, and then yeah. threw that left. Yeah, and then the he did the same thing with the body shot. Yeah, and Ryan Garcia definitely came into the fight feeling extremely confident. And I think I thought he was gonna win. I thought he was gonna win. You thought he was gonna win? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think so. No? Nah, I never had Garcia. I was thinking that his confidence might actually end up getting him there. Yeah. And I wouldn't be like surprised yeah. if it was like he was really believing himself and he came in and did the work. People shock people all the time. Yeah, that but is true. I my brain was like, I got tanked. I don't really see Garcia doing anything. And with his style being so upright, I was thinking it's like that overhand left yeah. counter, boom, and he's going to drop him or he just decisions him because Tank is a good boxer too. Yeah. People, because he has all that power. He's they, short too. Yeah. 
and they don't realize he's actually really good. There's like some stat that they put out, which I don't use stats too much for fighting because it's not a it's, it's not, not a accurate. game that you can like you can't quantify it like that. Okay. But they are saying that Tank has like the least amount of punches thrown, but also the most amount of KOs. Mm. And it was something like that. So it's just showing like how accurate he is and then yeah. how much power he has. He does have to throw that much, but he's landing so much and knocking people out. So some he's he's good. He's good, man. You know, um, he's with the May he's with the money team or I don't know. Because I saw Mayweather I, there, right? He's associated with them somehow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's, I don't I don't really know because yeah. he's not what was it Leonard B or something like that? Because that's that's Mayweather's dude, Letter B, something something like that. Yeah. I don't see him with tank. But I'm also not paying attention to Tank's crew like that. Yeah, like, like you know yeah. the money team, so it's yeah. like when you see familiar faces. So I'm thinking, I'm like, Yo, I Ch- think he just might be co-signing him. Chief Keith brought out Tank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, bro. I mean, shout out to Chief, bro. Man, I was in high school, bro. I was like in tenth grade when Chief oh, Keith yeah. dropped Finally Rich. I was just out of high school. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was class of 2013. I was 10. Okay. So, so yeah. you're three years older than me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But this guy looks like he's fucking 22, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. Black don't crack, man. Yeah, bro. I didn't want to say it, bro. I didn't want to. I was waiting for you to say it, bro. <laughs> nah, I, I was going to. Nah. And it's man. like, I think I drink, I drink water. Okay. I try to mind my business. Yeah. And just try to stay low key. So they say um, that, they say that when you mind your business, you live longer. Yeah, probably because you avoid shit. <laughs> yeah. Less stress, bro. Think about it. Do you feel like men go through more stress than women? Like overall, I say it's about even. Me too. I feel like it's it's depending on the person because yep. in their life, yeah, how people feel stress ain't based off like their gender or nothing like that. Boom. It's more of just your mindset, and then also, I, I mean, you have to like hormonal issues, and everyone like can have those. Yep. So I'd say it's just about even. Chemical imbalance. Yeah, exactly. It's shit like, like that. Women have mental health. Men have mental health. It's issues. kind of the same shit. We're all human beings, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that women go through that men can't really go through. Yeah. And, and, and vice versa. Yeah. And I didn't know that, uh, like, I, mean, I like kind of knew, but like the, um, damn, I was about to get like nerd out. Nah, bro. Go ahead. Nerd like, out. Um, Like a woman's period. Yeah. It's like, it affects a lot more than people think. And then their uh, birth control has all these hormonal effects. So it's not like normal. And that's why it's like, it can lead to like emotional damage. Issues. Yeah. And just like some mental health stuff, you can be more prone to things. It's just like, it's crazy. Cause you don't think about it. Something so simple, but it's like, damn, that shit can really be fucking you up. They say it's crazy. It, it gets deep too. They say that like women that stick together, like, let's say that you live with a woman. Right, mm-hmm. or two women live together in the same home. They'll get the period at the same time. Yeah, they they sync up. <laughs> yeah, it's like they sync up at the same time. It's like we're all connected, you know. That shit is crazy. That's kind of crazy. And I just found that out, and I was like, man, that's that is insane, bro. The human body is insane, bro. The brain is powerful. Yeah, the brain is a powerful thing. Drake says that, <laughs> and it's true, man. Like you could make anything happen. I was thinking about it the other day. It's like nothing's really impossible. We got it's women like time travel. Yeah, yeah. We got women with fucking dicks now. No, I was kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, but seriously though, like nothing, nothing is impossible. Like if you really want, if you put your mind to it, I really feel like you can you can accomplish anything that you want in life. I feel you. Definitely. Opportunities are limitless. Like people creating AI. Yeah, bro. It's the like, AI shit, bro. That AI shit's getting out of hand now. It's crazy. Like I just watched a video of uh it was showing how far ear prosthetics have come or prosthetics yeah look like a real ear but then they pulled it off and it's just like how far technology has come yeah it's it's insane and then like these artists too like they don't even like they're copying drake's voice and it sounds pretty close to drake if you hear the songs and all these artists so what so what happens like are they going to be killing these artists and just take their sound that's I'm sure a, some conspiracy theorists think that you know some crazy shit you know what i mean and then like how are you gonna believe what people say on the cameras anymore like on the news like when you can just like be what was the that deep fake the deep fakes you've seen that <laughs> um, it looks real 
<laughs> there was a clip I saw and it was like Biden or like Obama and like mm-hmm. different people. And I'm like, man, like that's not even him. You know, it's, um, what was I about to say? Shit, I'm, it was something about the deep fakes. Yeah. But then it'll come back. It'll come yeah, back. Eventually come but back. Anyway, I'm going to be sitting here thinking like people are going to see me on the camera. Like, be like, what, what was he talking about? <laughs> bro, come on. Remember, you know, right. nah, yeah, bro. Right, left. Nah, man. But what do you think about like this whole gun right thing? Like you're able to carry a gun now, you know, without a license. Like bro, I think that shit crazy. It's wild as fuck, man. It is. It is. I mean, even though like I'm going to be real, I carried a gun regardless. I've just been that guy. You know, I've always, I just come from a military background. Like, mm-hmm. again, like everyone's grown up differently. You know, some people are raised with no guns in the household. There's some people that, you know, you go shooting with your fucking uncle every other weekend or your grandpa and shit, yeah. you know? So you just grow up with it. He was a cop too. So, okay. You know, it makes sense. What are the pros and cons, actually, in your opinion? Or, I mean, like, I, I have my concealed. Okay. So I conceal carry. Yep. Um, and I'm like, I didn't have to do much, yeah. but I did have to learn a little bit. There's base information, like basic information that you should know when you're operating a gun. Yep. Especially the biggest one is always treat it like it's loaded. Mm-hmm. So you check to see if there's round in the chamber. Safety. And then, yeah. Never having it pointing towards someone, finger always off the trigger. Yeah. It's just basic stuff that you are brought up learning about when you have a gun or you respect the gun. That's the yeah. biggest thing. It's like, you have to respect the gun. what can kill you. The firearm. Yeah. Exactly. And it's just like, damn, y'all just letting anybody get this shit down. <laughs> now they need a, they need a background check still. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They need a background check. So it's like, I mean, but how, how effective has that really been? Cause well, at the, but end the end thing is, is, you know, criminals, people exactly. who are going to break the law, we're going to do it regardless. I, I, yeah. I just, yeah. So yeah, it's true. The only pro I can say is possibly <laughs> maybe people are going to be a little bit more respectful to each other. Yeah. Because Hopefully, because you better watch your mouth because I'll fucking, it's you, like know? you don't know who has that yeah, shit Yeah, you don't right know now. if I'm crazy, motherfucker, but you know I got one. But, you know, that's, that can nah. keep people um, in there's line. Like, there's this quote that it says, civilized men are more discourteous than savages because civilized men don't have to worry about getting like bashed upside the head yeah that is true and there is there's truth to that man i mean i ain't make the quote bro Bro, that that quote is dope that was dope bro i always love that quote because it's true yeah we can get away with disrespecting each other easy way easier now back then it's back then it's like but does that mean that shit is better though? Because just because someone disrespected you, damn, my shoulder popped hard as hell. Oh, no, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. But it's like just because someone disrespected you doesn't mean you have to beat their ass. Yeah, like beat the shit out of them. Yeah, it's like, you don't have to, bro. Just you know, it depends on the situation, right? If yeah. they disrespect to slap a girl in the ass and or slap your mom in the face or yeah, you know, some or like shit. push your kid or push your kid, yeah, shit like that. Yeah. Like who would do that anyway? Then it's like, like some people. Like I would just kill that person. Yeah, it's for like real. Is it's that, the levels of it's yeah, levels exactly. Of this. It's yeah. like you slap someone, my mom. You slap my mom. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for real. Yeah, bro. someone's probably gonna have yeah. to pull me yeah. off yeah. for that one. Yeah, bro. Or yeah. I, I can't really say because it's like I'll be fighting it. Yeah, like, when you yeah just yeah keep but, on going, but, but, but. bro. Times where I've seen on the motherfucking news like recently, a guy punch a guy and he died instantly on impact. I think there was a guy in the military. It was some shit like that that I saw. Yeah, he was in the he, army. It was in the middle of a fight. Or yeah, something. and he punched him one time and killed him. And that's what bro people forget <sighs> that when they see like in the in the people fighting on grass or people fighting in a canvas. Yeah, it's also made to not like knock you out us up. Yeah, when we hit the ground, hitting concrete. Oh, imagine the sound that you hear when someone. Yeah, exactly. That shit sounds bad. Your you, brain moved, bro. You're so going to have a you concussion. Got, you got knocked out and then you hit the ground. Yeah. And then your brain rattled. That's worse. That's why people are Internal dying. bleeding. Yeah. People are dying on the spot in a street fight. But then you see fighters that can get knocked out a few times yeah. and still be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. Like, it's completely different. Grass yeah. is softer. There is cases though, like a boxer here in Orlando. I forgot his name, but he's Puerto Rican. He's like a well <clears throat> excuse me he's a well-known fighter uh, he got hit one time in the in the head somewhere in the head and it made him like handicap and shit and he had to learn how to so it depends it's a dangerous sport so whenever you walk into the ring like you know i speak about this with all the fighters like they always tell me like hey man it's a risk at the end of the day 
That's you know true. what I mean? So, you know, there's, there's different ways of looking at it. One question though, about, you know, before we head on to another subject, you know, the Alec Bal- Baldwin shit. Did you hear about that? <laughs> you know, he just found, they just, they acquitted the charges, like nothing. Like I heard about that. I was just talking about that with my fiance and I was just like, this man really killed someone <laughs> <laughs> bro, on camera, bro. It's like, um, it, it just goes to show it's like how fragile life is yeah. and how quick everything can be over. Just, I, I I think about that so much more than I used to. Yeah. And it's like, damn, this shit crazy. This Every guy, single day that we <laughs> stay alive. Bro, it's crazy. It's another, it's an accomplishment. That's why you should be thankful when you wake up in the mornings, bro. For, because there could have been a time where you just walked outside and got hit by a fucking meteorite, <laughs> a fucking, you, you know, random deaths, bro. This guy w- went to work, bro. Went to work as a fucking prop guy, whatever. Fucking handed the gun to the guy. It was a guy or a girl? I, th- I think it was, I don't know. I don't even I thought it was a woman. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, someone died, bro. They went to fucking work and they died. Bro, that shit is wild. I just, but do you feel like Alec Baldwin should be charged with that? Do you think it's his fault, actually? Fuck the charges. I wish I could answer that because I don't know the details <laughs> yep. of what happened as much. So yep. it's I have to read on it before I give my take. Yeah, facts. Because if it's a, like a studio, whoever was... Like uh, keeping track of all the guns yeah. and all that. If it was their, their fault, fault, then it's then, not his fault. Yeah, but then it's like if Baldwin knew and was just thinking, "Oh, nothing's gonna happen," type shit, then it would be on him. There's so many variables. It's like it's such a when it comes to like one. you know gun safety and like you know these gun experts. There's people arguing like in comments that I see like on the post and shit. They're like, "Oh man, if you." If you have a firearm in your hand, no matter what, there is a law to this shit. Like, there's just certain things that you just need to do. Make sure that the gun is not loaded, especially if you're going to be aiming it at somebody or cleaning the gun and, you know, shit like that. Then there's other people like, no, it's... Yeah, and then there's other people who are like, well, they got points too. Both sides have points where it's like, you know, just like you said, like, it could be both people's faults. Yeah. Yeah, it really could be shared responsibility. But I have, like, when I... Last time I read about it... Yeah was so long ago that I forgot the details of what happened. Me too. And who would be at fault. Yep. And I, I, the case kind of fell out of my It did, but it just mind. recently just popped up yeah. again where they're like, hey, you know, he's not going to be charged with this. I'm like, but listen, man, he's a celebrity. Like, they need him for other movies. There's something <laughs> going on in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Hollywood <laughs> is uh, Holly weird. Yeah, it, it's like I watched a video about like how people were with Justin Bieber, like being weird with him. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, these motherfuckers is weird. And then people were like showing how uncomfortable they were. And then like something with uh, Nickelodeon, Dan Schneider yeah, or something Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. With the iCarly and, and, yeah. and, and, you know, they have all this foot, the foot fetish thing. Did you hear about that? Nah, but there, there's some weird ass dudes over there. And yeah. it's, it makes me think about, like, there's some interview that I watched where they're saying that some of these parties, like mansion parties, you go into one room and it's like, there's some crazy shit going on in that room yeah and i would that's why i'd never want to be famous yeah i, have, I want i, I want, would want to be wealthy rich and i can deal with well known yeah but it's like famous nah hell nah, nah. bro think about it bro your whole life is done bro like you know your whole life is just like everyone's gonna know about you who you're dating look at bad bunny bro bad bunny wants to bang jiley um, what's her name kylie jenner or whatever kylie? yeah Let's say Kylie Jenner. What is it? Wait, what is it? I don't know. Kendall. Kendall. <laughs> Isn't Kylie the, the father? Nah, I don't nah, know. Nah, Kyle. I said Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Kylie is the younger one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's as far that's as I'm crazy. on that one. But yeah, man. Anything uh you gotta say, man, to the to the dope talk family, bro? Or you know, anybody, your family, your loved ones. What up? <laughs> Yo, man. I appreciate you even showing up, man. Thank you for having me. You, bro. you drove fucking damn 44 minutes. Yo, we're back with another one. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. You follow him on, on Instagram, bro. I'm going to put it right here in the description. Uh, when's your next fight? It was supposed to be May. But it was supposed to be May 6th, but I got a little injury okay. and got to heal up from that. So I'm hoping sometime 
soon after that, June, July. Okay. And, you know, get another finish, have all finishes as a. What's your record? Fighter. Nine and five. You're nine and five. Okay. Nine Damn, bro. finishes. That's, and that's good. Yeah. And I've only won my MMA fights by finishes as an amateur and pro. So, yo, make sure uh, whoever you're, uh, whoever's going against my dog, make sure you guys be uh, trained up. All right. But yeah, bro. <laughs> shout out to you, man. I appreciate you showing up, man. All love. Hopefully you come back again, man. Pretty soon. Yeah. Love to be on again. All right, guys. We out.